Hey everyone, so this is the fourth tutorial of the massing series. In this tutorial, we are going to resume modeling some more linear masses. So let's start. So let's start by modeling something like this. So to model this shape, we are going to use sweep one rail and we are going to use uh, more uh, profiles, maybe one profile here and one here and another here. And we're going to record history and start adjusting the profiles after orienting them. So let's start. Let's come in the top view and assume that we have a site. Maybe the site is 80 by 40. Press tab to uh, fix the direction and snap it to this point and draw it. Okay, now we are going to stay in the top view and we are going to start by drawing the rails. Let's come here in the curves and choose interpolate curves. Start maybe by, uh, I, I, I opened the smart track. We can close that, I don't need it right now. So maybe draw, I, I will close the also too. Maybe something like this. For the first rail, you can start adjusting the control points. Through the second one. And you can press right click to finish the command instead of enter. And press right click again to bring the curves again. And draw the third rail. We can select the curves and start adjusting the control points to match our design. Now for the profile, I, I will draw just one profile and after orienting them, we'll record history and start uh, adjusting them. So let's uh, choose a three-point rectangle. Press F8 to open the also. Let's assume the profile is 10 by maybe 8 meter. Double click to maximize the perspective view. So to orient this profile on these curves, type orient on curve or you can bring it from the transform tab this this is a command okay so after uh, after uh, clicking on the command click on the on the on the profile right click instead of enter then uh, select the, the base point i will uh, i will open the middle and choose the middle point of the file then select a curve and here you go, it uh, already oriented in the, uh, in the right orientation. You can uh, flip, the, flip it in X or, uh, or Y. But anyway, uh, it is already uh, in, the, in the middle, so it's not going to do a difference. For example, if it was down, if you flipped in the Y, as you can see, the profile is in the bottom of the curve, not uh, above. So keep it as it is. And make sure to uh, set the copy to yes, because we, are, we need more than one profile and we want to keep this as it is. So I orient one here and maybe uh, another one here and another one here. So, and then right click to finish the command. Now we are going to repeat this process in the few other curves. Right click to bring the command again, select the rail, I mean the profile, select the point. Select the curve and start copying it. Press one here, one here, and one here. Okay, uh, if, if when you type orient on curve and choose a profile, and you find it horizontal like this, uh, don't worry to adjust it, just uh, type P or click here in perpendicular, and it will be perpendicular on the curve. Okay, let's bring the command again, orient on the curve, select the fire right click, select the base point, select the curve. And let's flip the y direction. We will need a profile here, one here and one here. So now let's uh, use sweep one rail. You can type sweep one rail or you can use it from here. So let's select the, just to make sure that the, uh, 
uh, you set always record the history you can come here and right click and choose always record history so let's uh, start creating the sweep on rail select the rail profile one two and three and then right click here we go and you can select it and go here in and ensure iso curves hide the iso curves to be able to clearly see the our profiles and start adjusting them so uh, there is a notification that dragging broke history on one object and this object is the the profile which is fine so press ok and we can keep adjusting let's move this point and uh, type v for vertical so we can move it to the same height as this one to create this kind of bridge and let's repeat this to the other shapes Okay, now we can select these two objects and uh, hide the ISO curves. And we can select the profiles and come press in this uh, circle and choose align to object to be able to scale the object uh, correctly and start adjusting the shapes. We just need to move up a little bit. And this profile need to be scaled down. Fine. And this to control shift to select sub object and set point. Choose Z. Bring it down like this. Maybe this one need to be to move to move the gumball. Double click and I will move it to the center and scaling this like this. And maybe moving this edge up. Oh, okay, Control Z. Uh, another thing that we you may need to do is selecting this object and go in the visibility and uh, lock all of them. You can place uh, type lock or select this. So now we we will won't select any edge of them by mistake or move them because if we move any of them, uh, they will break history and then after and if if we break the history of the Sweep command, if we modified the rails, the object is not going to be updated. Now, as you can see, they are locked, but however, if we move the, the profiles, the form is updating. So let's just in the form like this. And this needs. Okay, I will speed uh, this part up since, of course, you know how to adjust the, the form. Uh, you can also use this scale tools. There is a scale 1, 2, 2D and scale uh, 1 in one direction. You can use scale 1 in one direction to maybe like moving this like this. Maybe moving it down like this. Also, it is a uh, it is useful in a lot of cases. Okay, and uh, after we finish all of this, you can uh, we can uh, type unlock. You can type unlock, uh, or you can go in the visibility and uh, click on this command, and we can select everything and type cap. But, but of course, uh, before typing cap, you will have to make sure that everything is uh, is fine and the design is finalized, because after pressing cap, this will uh, break the history. So after uh, so now, if we start uh, modif moving any of these profiles. The form is not going to be updated and uh, a better approach is to select all of these objects and hold alt and copy them and cap and then type cap 
So now uh, if we want to come back here and start adjusting the form, it's fine. We will delete this and start adjusting the form. And after we finish, we can copy them again and cap. Uh, so always try to make sure you don't delete the object. Uh, you can just copy it and uh, try another thing to always have the chance to come back again and start making adjustments based on the old model. So for example, if I have a crazy idea that I want to try, but I'm afraid to ruin the acceptable design that I already did. So what should you do? Uh, we'll select everything and hold Alt to copy. I will delete all the shapes and recreate the sweep and make sure to record the history. Type sweep on rail, select objects, select profile one, two, and three. Right click, okay. And for this one, right click to bring the command again, select the rail, select profile one, two, and three. Okay, to adjust uh, this part, uh, uh, let's cancel, security again. Sweep one rail, select the rail, profile one, two, and three. Make sure that all these R's are in the same direction so we can come here and uh, flip this arrow, right click, and here we go. Let's do it again here. Sweep one rail, select the rail, profile one, two, and three. Now select all the objects, highlight the curves, and go to the visibility and log them. Select uh, all the profiles, type F10 to open the control points and do whatever you want. You already copy everything. So you are not going to, uh, to ruin the accepted model that you did. So we can start like maybe moving this. Like, just move it up more, moving this edge down, moving this up and do whatever you want. And uh, that's it. After you finish, you can type unlock. Um, you may not be able to cap all this, uh, let's isolate it for now. You may not be able to cap everything. Didn't manage to cap this part. So you can just, uh, to close it, you can create a three to four corner po uh, surface like this. Here and same here. Let's go to the wireframe to be able to see this edge. That's it for today. Thank you for watching and see you later.